All right, today I'd like to show everybody a, a trick I've been using for the past two years or so um, to take a hose created with pro piping and combine it with the flexible components feature of Pro E to create a reusable hose model. Um, you know, this got several benefits. Uh, you reduce the number of models that you have to retain. Um, you have a model that you can use an infinite number of times and an infinite number of configurations. And it really helps when creating drawings because you don't have to do all these weird things to, you know, get your bill of materials to turn out correctly. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you my hose model first. And this is just a simple probably about as simple as you can get a uh, hose model. I've got one hose in that's just assembled to the default coordinate system and another hose in that I've assembled you know probably I think 300 millimeters away and just fixed it in 3D space. And I'm going to turn off pre-select highlighting here since I don't like it. and turn off the datum features so it's a little easier to see. So that's it. You know, you just set your two uh, hose ends and then just create a simple hose feature in between them. So what we're going to do here is create a new assembly. We'll just call it demo. And I'm going to assemble this hose into the demo model by just assembling it to the default coordinate system. And I can see here that my default coordinate system is here, which means that I do not want this hose end to move. Uh, you recall in my model I had fixed this one to default, so we don't want this one to move. We only want this hose end here to move. Okay, so to do that, right click on our hose model, go make flexible, and then we are going to pick the hose end. So I've got my hose end selected, the one that we want to move. Click OK and all these dimensions are going to pop up. There's three position dimensions and then three angle dimensions. So I'll pick all six of these. And click OK. Okay, so now I've got all these dimensions that I can use to move this hose in relative to this one. So just to show you here, this 180 degree dimension here, we're going to change this to zero, which is going to turn this uh, hose in 180 degrees. And then we're going to make this dimension zero so that these two hose ends are back in the same plane. And then I'm going to set them, um, let's say, 200 millimeters apart so that they're not right on top of each other. So what that's going to do is it's going to create a U-shaped hose, like so. So we've created this U-shaped hose without ever actually changing our, you know, our hose model here. And we can add another hose. I'll just set this one out here somewhere and fix it in space. And then uh, make it flexible. Pick the hose in we want to move. Pick our dimensions again. Uh, 
now we can do the same sort of thing. We say move this, turn this 90. Uh, we'll change this one to, let's say, 200. And this one to negative 200. Actually, I think, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, that should turn this one kind of that way. Or not. Sometimes you have to play around with it just to figure out which way the uh, the angular dimensions are, are actually working. So I can save this. And you can see here in, in the model tree I've got two the exact same hose model in two different configurations. And I can keep doing this as many times as I want. Um, the only drawback to this is that you uh, it's a little bit difficult to to see your uh, your hose length. Um, you can see you know just looking at these two models that the hose length is obviously not the same. Um, so that's one thing just to be be careful of. You have to go back and double check hose lengths. But, you know, this re results in much cleaner models, um, you know, much cleaner bill of materials. So that's pretty much it for this demo. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. And I hope to be adding more of these to Hacksaw Labs pretty soon. Thanks.